another edition of Pitch Brand Talk. Think about marketing in the last 10 years and marketing has changed from what we knew what it was before, right? From digital to now AR and VR. And a brand that has taken the is in the forefront of this is Tata Tea and Tata Coffee from the Tata Consumer Products Table. I'm very happy to have with me today, Mr. Puneet Das. He's the president of Packaged Beverages, India and South Asia at Tata Consumer Products. Puneet, welcome. Thank you, Simran. Thanks for having me. Uh, Puneet, like I mentioned, AI and, uh, you know, uh, you've really, as a brand uh, and as a company, you've really adapted uh, seamlessly of integrating AI into your marketing uh, campaigns. So what have been the challenges that when you first started and how did you overcome them? So I think, uh, first of all, I think uh, we adapted to AI uh, seamlessly in marketing is also because I think uh, it fitted in very well with our uh, strategy on uh, Tata T portfolio, which is driving hyper-localization. And, uh, you know, we started on this journey about four years ago on being hyper-local, where our entire marketing mix is now curated to a very, uh, you know, region-specific, uh, right from packaging, product, uh, you know, to the marketing engagements. And I think what technology today is allowing as we, you know, increasingly uh, sort of, you know, as it increasingly progresses is to help us uh, both uh, reach and engage with consumers at the hyper-localization level. And now as we move from hyper-localization to hyper-personalization. So, so that's why that, you know, it was very seamless. And I think uh, challenges is really about, you know, uh, I mean, uh, you know, whenever you start off with uh, new technologies, there's always a learning curve. And, uh, you know, you need to sort of uh, build use cases, you need to pilot them, you need to see where, you know, uh, these are giving you results on, on objectives that you set out, and and then build on them. And I think for us, uh, more than challenges, I think it's been a, uh, it has fit in very well, because like I said, you know, we were already on that path, and AI just helped us, uh, you know, engage with our consumers more seamlessly. I was looking at some of your campaigns. So there's the Tata Tea Premium. You did the Desh Ke Bhage campaign. Then Tata Tea Cold Durga campaign, uh, Durga, Durga Puja campaign, where AI was uh, an anamorphic uh, image was uh, used. Then also recently for Tej, you have done uh, for Tata Tea Lal Ghoda Kala Ghoda. So when when you look at this, how has the response been on the ground from consumers? And for you, how has that helped build the brand salience? So I think, uh, you know, uh, while the campaigns that you mentioned, I think, are uh, you know, be, you know, fits very well with the hyper uh, localization strategy. Because I think in India, you know, for food and beverage is a very localized palette, uh, you know, and then hence for us, it made sense as a as a leading one of the leading uh, tea players to sort of, you know, walk the talk when it comes to engaging with consumers. Uh, I think what we have done uh, is uh, recently, for example, is a work on Tarati Premium, uh, where we did the whole Lodi campaign where AI was used, we brought alive the hyperlocal strategy through through the use of that. And, and what we did was used AI to target personalized messages to consumers who, when they clicked on the ad, uh, helped them to tailor personalized messages with the name of uh, consumers and occasions during the during the Lodi festival in, in which a custom, you know, there is tapas, which are celebrity Lodi folk songs, which are sung. So we got that done in the voice of actor Shenaz Gill, and the consumers were able to, uh, with the use of AI, personalize it and pass on these, uh, you know, uh, greetings. So, for example, for that campaign, we saw, you know, and, and we sort of, of course, rolled it across diverse media platforms. Uh, and we saw a lot of, almost 11,000 custom tapas among friends only on the day of Lodi. And saw high engagement rate for Tarati Premium on the brand. Similarly, we used uh, you know uh, speech AI to talk about Tarati Premium in uh, Bombay. And again, in this 15-day campaign period, we we delivered more than 160,000 uh, notifications uh, and got more than double of industry standard CTR benchmarks. So I think each of this campaign, uh, wherever AI has been used, uh, there have been uh, we have seen uh, you know progress happening in in the kind of objectives that we have rolled out which reaffirms the faith that, you know, we need to keep, uh, uh, you know, pushing, uh, leveraging technology and, you know, keep building these use cases to engage more effectively with consumers. Uh, uh, that's that's the numbers which you've uh, actually mentioned. They are phenomenal. But you also use QR codes, right, on your packaging. And that kind of gives you a direct connect with your consumers. 
you know so how has that also panned out and the other question which i want to ask you is you mentioned punjab and you mentioned bombay so when you use ai how is the uh, how are you getting the response from metro and tire to uh, tire one towns visa we say tire two and tire three because punjab would come in that category and bombay would be your metro category how is the response seen across both so so right now you know uh, you know of course we're getting responses from the top tiers but you know technology is something that is percolating down as we speak and uh, uh, for example in the case of uh, you know bombay the speech ai was targeted to people who were using specific words like tea cutting chai garam chai so the notifi and and hence we served the notification so it was really about where these conversations are happening uh, you know and hence the conversions were happening over there in punjab it was across because you know again lodi is a festival that is uh, f- celebrated across so uh, I, it's not it's not just a urban or a rural phenomena it's about where the consumer it's the entire are, state yeah yeah so it's getting spread out uh, you know and of course when you carry uh, to your to your question on qr codes on pack so yes whoever is uh, you know again we are seeing participation happening across which is that of course the people need to have a very strong reason for the qr code uh, to to go and scan so on tarati gold we have just rolled out a festive series campaign uh, of uh, during durga puja as you mentioned uh, there it was about bringing the craft of kumar tuli alive you know if people were scanning packs so since durga puja is just happening we're still analyzing the results but because the packs go all across you know uh, we are getting you know engagements all across you know you mentioned personalization and hyper personalization now first we slowly talk about personalization now we've come down to hyper personalization of each cohort when we buy a car or we buy any uh, say consumer durable the chances are we give our numbers right or uh, you know your name your number is with the dealer and then with the uh, with the pair, uh, with the company as such but when you're buying like a tea product or a coffee product or anything else we are just buying it so there's no way that you know the brand knows who it actually which uh, home has this product gone to so through the qr code do you think this will help you also uh, become more personalized with the consumer because now you're getting first party data and help you connect oh, with your consumer think... also fast absolutely i mean i think uh, you know uh, as you rightly said you know in fmcg the products go through the retailers and you know and hence to the consumers unless the consumer is directly buying from your uh, websites i think it's a the qr codes allow you to really leverage the first party data uh, you know very well and you get a lot of these consumer insights and shopper insights so to speak so i think over time i mean uh, you know as as more and more of these uh, cases happen will definitely you know uh, get a lot of these patterns but again t is a very very mass category uh, right. very very highly penetrated category so you know it goes across households but yes it helps to get some of these uh, you know uh, insights and develop further campaigns on them uh, to to continue engaging effectively yeah now you also use personalized packs for consumers and that has right. leveraged the power of personalized uh, variable data printing for various yeah. campaigns so how has yeah. this panned out for you i i say it's been a great success you know in fact we've done it now twice uh, in the second year this time at the at uh, during mothers day there's a brand called tarati gold care and uh, this was really about bridging the gap uh, ai was used to bridge the gap between outdoor and digital uh, via ai so while we did while we got in uh, consumers through digital to participate uh you know uh, upload their uh, you know sort of photos for with their mothers and we selected and we did about 1000 customized packs which is quite big from a fmc point of view where we got their uh, photos along with their uh, you know their mother photos on on uh, which is a very personalized pack with their greetings and send it out to them uh we also used uh, this technology uh, uh, tech enabled real time instagram whatsapp post uh people on their handle were showcased uh, you know on a live outdoor holding placed in a mall so we did about we ai was used to activate social listening filter content that was coming in from consumers and suggest images before it went on to program, programmatic holding so it was almost a live outdoor leveraging ai so we got about 1000 customized packs and more than 4 million reach for the ai activation so again every year you know it's just helping us to uh, you know uh, have engagement at a very uh, at a very scale level but uh, now i just want to know like now when you're planning a campaign like traditionally you would have planned a campaign you know tv print 
radio digital is now part so are you consciously seeing how does in each of your campaign how ai fits so how are you making that call like this will work for ai or this will is this a call for action or just building brand salience how are you kind of deciding like ai or vr also is a good fit so i and think that's the that could be yes exactly i think that to me is the most critical question i think if uh, first of all as a marketer you need to be where the consumers of today are you know and that naturally means that consumers are surrounded with technology um, they are you know they are you know it's a digital age we are in so you need to be where they are secondly i i just feel uh, if you start from technology and then try to find a solution you will you know it's a it's a bit more uh, then you are just trying to be trendy uh, you know it's a fact right. for us i think it's important that uh, you know uh, the your brand strategy fits in where your technology can then be an enable technology is always an enabler and like i said because we were on this journey of hyper personalized hyper localization uh, we managed to be early adopter and not just early adopter but you know it fitted in well seamlessly with our strategy and uh, and hence you know uh, of course as a marketer Uh, even if you don't have hyper local strategy to the era is, you know today there was earlier times of mass communication you need to you you hmm. would beam out one ad it would go to the masses now as yeah. as technology allowing you to do a you know hopefully one day we'll get to a one on one messaging where one ad is being beamed to one consumer but uh, we are very getting close to at least driving engagement at a at a at a personalization level and uh, and hence like i said it has to come from strategy and how your brand fits in and then technology helps you to you know take you there uh, and and that's what we are doing now because you are one of the early ad- adopters of this technology how are you see what is the opportunity you see looking ahead to further build on ai driven initiatives for your portfolio of brands i think uh, in general i think there are a lot of exciting opportunities uh, you know uh, one is only limited by imagination and technology so to speak but for example the of course the you know for us uh, what we have been doing and i think the low hanging fruit is always having a more immersive interactive and you know very engaging experience uh, for consumers uh, you know through personalization ai allows for data driven insight uh, you know analyzing data driving uh, data driven insights into meaningful campaigns um it it helps that you know then the messaging also resonates with specific audience it increases engagement effectiveness so uh, i think there there are a, there's a lot more you know as 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 we evolve uh, both technology wise and uh, use cases i think the ability to interact and build meaningful connections with consumers uh, can just go up you know with the with the use of ai if it fits into your brand strategy I also want to know: Are you looking at upping your ad spends? And if I were to look at it as a pie, is more and more of your ad spend now going towards technology and martech at the expense of the other channels, or how is it? Or is the pie just expanding? So, like I said, you know, uh, marketing is about being where the consumers are. It's not about you know, should I be on digital? Should I be on traditional media? I mean, we just did a campaign on Tata Coffee where we leveraged print in a very disruptive manner where we had aroma infused newspaper so the i i mean i feel you know uh, and and this was the insight that people wake up every morning and you know with the, with a uh, newspaper and you know if you immerse them in the coffee smell it will uh, it invokes that sense of reaching out for a cup of coffee so it's really about what is your strategy i think for us we are we are in the early stages of exploring ai and generative ai uh, we are taking a you know a, i mean the investments are modest but I, I, you know you have to navigate uh, uncharted waters you have to have a learning curve you have to build u- use cases but like i said because it's more uh, you know uh, strategy driven i think we can see the uh, sort of you know uh, investments going up if it is adding meaningful uh, you know engagement which it is uh, so far for us and that's exactly how digital had also started when i was growing as a brand manager i used to say allocate this percentage money and all that and you know versus traditional spends and you know but it's really about where the consumers of today are and and what's the best way of reaching them and engaging with them and then the technology and everything else gets answered through that but overall are you looking to up your ad spends overall so i we are fueling our brands uh, you know in line with our ambitions and i think uh, like i said you know it is all part of our strategy and as long as 
uh, the uh, you know it fits into our what we are planned for uh, we will continue sort of going down that path i must say the campaign which you did for tata coffee having the whiff of coffee for any coffee lover having the whiff of coffee first time uh, you know in the early, early morning it really is a good start to the day yeah i must you. tell you that but uh, i have to ask you because festive is right we are yeah. in the midst of the festive uh, yeah. season so how is festive been for you Oh yeah, I mean, I think it's a. I think festive marketing, while uh, you know, it's also getting more and more cluttered as as every year. But I think it's a great opportunity for uh, marketers to connect and consumer to engage with consumers. So we we actually you know have been building on our uh, calendars every year. So like I said, we started off this year with Tarati Gold Durga Puja campaign, where we brought to life, celebrated the artistry of Kumar Thuli, which brought life to the craftsmanship behind the festival. We launched five festive packs, uh, you know, dedicated to the craft of Kumar Thuli. We used outdoors in, in you know interactive uh, mediums to ensure that it comes out alive. Uh, Tarati Kanan Devan's Onam 360 degree campaign included consumer rewards on pack purchases. Uh, looking ahead, we have a Tarati Leaf Chhat Puja campaign. Uh, which we are, you know, uh, again, we have launched some packs which are based on some, uh, you know, uh, which are celebrating the Chat Festival and uh, creating a deeper connection with people of Bihar and Jharkhand. So I think we, you know, for us, uh, again, festive marketing uh, or festival allows us to, again, uh, you know, uh, engage with our consumers in a more meaningful manner. And I think we are leveraging that across our portfolio. Personally, I think you somehow managed to crack the secret of, uh, you know, a festive marketing because every time any festival is around the corner, your motives, you've used motives and other things which are really, really engaging and nice to look at also. You are immediately hooked on to just seeing what the imaging is. That I think is one thing which you do very well. But uh, just uh, how has the last financial year been? How has the current financial year been? for the uh, packaged uh, beverage division which you had and uh, what can we expect looking ahead so uh when, when you're talking are you talking financial year are you talking about the quarter which has just gone by uh, uh, yeah, up to you either financial year or the quarter How's yeah the so, quarter I, business? so we have just uh you know released our results uh just few days back and india beverage has grown by three percent uh, coffee has continued a strong trajectory and has grown 29% during this quarter. So I think, uh, you know, uh, tea right now is going through some headwinds in terms of input cost and, you know, uh, inflation, etc. So there are some short term challenges that one has to manage and uh, mitigate. Uh, so, however, as we are entering into quarter three, which is the financial year quarter three, uh, you know, like I said, you know, uh, we are ensuring that at least from a uh, you know driving consumer awareness and engaging uh, the plans are full on and uh, we just spoke about festive marketing and again you know it's almost in that sense season time so to speak for hot beverages uh, as winter also will start setting in so i think there is a lot more action that you will start seeing um, you know or continued action start seeing on on across all our brands uh, whether it's started premium gold agni or our you know our regional brands and even our portfolio in coffee. So yeah, very, very exciting months ahead. Thank you so much, Puneet, for your time. It was lovely for talking to you. Thank you, Simran. Thanks for, uh, you know, this lovely interview. Really look forward to always catching up with you. Thank you.